Will you? No. Listen, Dharma, Greg's my best friend. I, I'm a little uncomfortable you bribing information out of me. All right, fine. Sorry. <laughs> Separate checks, please. No, you can do it. I'm just saying I'm a little uncomfortable with it. All right. You didn't hear it from me. But every few years, Greg and his dad... Yeah? They go deep sea fishing. No, they don't, Pete. It's just a cover for what they really do. Oh, good. I'm starting to feel bad about ratting them out there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. hang on there, Mr. Cheesecake. How about that one in a hat box, yeah. Yeah. Kitty! Oh, hi, Celia. Mrs. Dharma, what are you doing here? I just really need to talk to Kitty. Is she here? No, I don't see her, and you don't see me. Bye-bye. <laughs> And last year, Celia and I had the pool redone. All new tile. Hi, Miguel. I haven't seen you in a while. ¿Cómo está? Ah, bien, gracias. These are our friends, the Guzmans. Hello. Hi. This is our neighbor, Dharma. She's looking for her dog, but it is not here. We'll keep our eyes open for her. Bye-bye. Celia. <laughs> Miguel, why don't you show our guests uh, your uh, cigar collection in the den? In the den? The dark room with the, with the wood. Ah, see, ah, ah. <laughs> Celia, what's going on? Where's Kitty? I cannot tell you. Celia, I need to find out where Greg really is, and I'm hoping that if I can talk to Kitty, I can figure it out. Mrs. Montgomery doesn't know anything, and she must never know. What do you mean? <sighs> this is how it works. The men say they're going fishing, but they're really going to Las Vegas for girly shows. <laughs> they're in Vegas? Yes, and Mrs. Montgomery uses that time to sneak off and get a little talk. <laughs> this time is her bottom. Really? Yes, but if Mrs. Montgomery knew that they were in Vegas looking at boom, 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 she might have a problem. And no trip for them, no trip for her, and Miguel and I wouldn't have our poolside vacation. I mean... Mi amor, I forget, since the remodel. Where is the den, upstairs or downstairs? Momentito, mi amor. Do we have an understanding here? Yes, I promise to keep my dog in the yard from now on. <laughs> it was very nice to meet you. Celia and Miguel are such great neighbors. <laughs> we were so happy when they bought the house from the Montgomery's. Talk about snobs, okay, right, Celia? <laughs> Hey, Larry. Do me a favor. Sit on this couch and see if any fuzz sticks to your pants. Your Bobby hates that. I already cleaned the couch, Larry. I know, sweetie. It looks great. Just sit. <laughs> Listen, I need to ask you a question. It turns out Greg didn't go fishing. Oh, well, that's good news. How do you think Abby would feel about him being in Vegas checking out topless shows? Well, this is a tricky one. Yeah. <laughs> she might see it as the exploitation of women's bodies by men. On the other hand, it could be women empowering themselves by taking control of their sexuality. Right. So which way do you think she'd go on it? Not a clue. <laughs> but either way, she's going to feel very strongly about it. Thanks, Larry. Boy, I can't believe they went to Vegas and they didn't invite me. I thought we were friends. I should say something about no, it. No, 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 don't. Do that. Um, because it's just Edward, Edward and Greg are a little embarrassed about what they do there. Strippers. I've seen strippers. Yeah, but they're not regular strippers. <laughs> no, Edward has a, um, Edward has a thing. What kind of thing? <sighs> he likes them heavy. What? <laughs> Yeah, heavy and Slavic and, you know, there's a little thing going on here. Whoa, Vegas has changed. I'm done in the kitchen, Larry, if you'd like to check my work. Oh, sweetie, the place looks terrific. Oh. Ma's gonna love it. I'll take one quick look. Hey, Abby, great news. It turns out Greg is not fishing. Oh? No, that's just a cover for Kitty's benefit. Oh. Yeah, what they really do is he and Edward go to Las Vegas. Oh. Vegas? Why on earth do they go to Las Vegas? They go to see... 
doctor. <laughs> For Edward. The specialist. Oh. Why can't they tell Kitty? <laughs> because. Edward is a little self-conscious about it. It's in a delicate area. Is it as cold? Yes. <laughs> I think that was my favorite show so far. It had everything. Uh, magicians, topless women. How funny was it when that orangutan gave you the finger? Yeah, huh? funnier <laughs> every time we go, Dad. Hello? Hi, honey. Oh, Dharma, hi. Hey, Dharma. You wouldn't believe the fish we've been catching from the ocean. Greg, listen, I know you're in Las Vegas. Oh, uh, uh, look, look, Dad, a bar. Oh, son of a gun. <laughs> uh, honey, how'd you, how did you find out? Doesn't matter. Now listen, Abby changed Harry's birthday party till Sunday night so you can make it. So she's changed her mind about the fishing? Well, you're not fishing. Unless you talk to Kitty. But when you talk to Abby, you're in Vegas seeing a doctor for Edward who's getting his annual colonoscopy. Which he doesn't want Kitty to know about, so he needs you there to lean on. Emotionally, not while they're doing it. Uh, and when you, when you talk to Larry, you're in Las Vegas seeing girly shows, but only ones featuring large Slavic women. I'm, you might want to think up some show titles, because all I could come up with was the Moss Cows. So we've uh, changed our mind about the lying thing? I am just trying to cover your ass, Greg. And your dad's, and your mom's. By the way, don't stare at your mom's. I try not to. Okay, good. I love you. Bye. Bye. -bye. Hey, look at this. They got a naked lady ventriloquist. <laughs> I bet she does that just so you don't watch her mouth. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Abby, I can't tell you how delighted I am you've reached some sort of a detente with Greg. Oh, uh, well, Kitty, I was acting a little silly, and I didn't realize how much Edward needed this uh, fishing expedition. <laughs> Far so good. I guess. Uh, where's your grandmother? She's out back smoking and eating brisket. <laughs> My mom asked. She has a headache and she went to lie down. Hey, Ed. Listen, Ed, I just want you to know I am totally cool with you not inviting me on your fishing trip. I mean, personally, I don't go for the big ones. Oh, you don't know what you're missing. They are something to see. Arching their back, their tails up in the air. There was one there that almost broke the pole. <laughs> You're really into that. Oh, there's nothing like wrestling a really big one. <laughs> I, I worked up a sweat with a 300-pounder for an hour and a half. You wrestle them? It really gets the blood pumping. <laughs> I tell you, just thinking about it makes me a little queasy. Oh, yeah, I used to get sick, too. First couple of times, I actually threw up all over the guy next to me. <laughs> really? Nuts. Yeah. You're telling me. <laughs> Edward, how are you feeling? Ah, better and better. I wanted to tell you that I know about you and Gregory and the trip to Las Vegas. You do? Mm -hmm. Oh, don't worry. I've not told a soul and I would never tell Kitty, but I wanted you to know that I think it's terrific and I think it's something every man should do. Really? Mm -hmm. I've been trying to get Larry to do it. Well, he should. I'm telling you, it's four days he'll never forget. Four days? Well, there's a lot to see down there. Dad, I think Mother really needs that drink. He's on the medication for the pain. Yeah. This is never gonna work. Relax. Hey, Ed. Sorry, I gotta ask you another question about your little trip. Hey, oh, look, uh, uh, more, more presents. Oh, yeah. good. All right, take a seat, everybody. Or, or stand, if you'd feel more comfortable. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? <laughs> I said nothing about the work you had done in your... Back jar? <laughs> Your backyard is lovely, Kitty. What have you had done to it? Oh, she's always having someone work on it. Moving things around back there. Frankly, it's more trouble than it's worth. I'd just as soon cement the whole thing over and play tennis on it. So this is it? You want us to spend the rest of our lives keeping all this up? That's the plan. Okay, but again, for the record, if we had just told your mother... Yeah, yeah, yeah. blah, blah. Have some cake. Where have you been? 
I took your mother to the airport. Her plan's not for two days. She kept saying she wanted to get there early. 